What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can start a YouTube channel without any money. Nowadays, a lot of people think that they need all the high-end equipment to get into YouTube. Although it may help a bit, you really don't need that $3,000 gaming PC, and there's no point in buying a Blue Yeti just yet if you don't know how long you're going to stay. So, I've gathered a list of free tools you can use to build a YouTube channel from scratch. And with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to make some channel art. To do this, I'd recommend using Pixlr.com. Pixlr is probably my favorite free photo editing software just because it's so easy to use and it's pretty much like the bare bones of Photoshop. It's got all the features you need such as the lasso tool, the gradient tool, it supports layer style editing as well as transparent images, and it already loads up fonts you've downloaded to your computer. You can make some pretty awesome stuff with this and even use it to make all of your thumbnails, watermarks, overlays, or anything else you want. Now if you don't want to use Pixlr, you can also use other software such as Paint.net and GIMP, although they do have a learning curve. But those are all the photo editing softwares I have. The next step is to make an intro or maybe some sort of an animation for your channel. Now for this, the only free software I know is Blender. There are a lot of Blender intro templates you can use and Blender is completely free and it is kind of like Cinema 4D, although it's not like a full-blown version. A lot of people still use it to make their animations and whatnot, so I would recommend using that if you're looking for a free intro maker or animation tool. Okay, so now let's talk about gameplay recording softwares. My personal favorite has to be Open Broadcaster Software or OBS. OBS is used to not only just record gameplays but also incorporate things such as face cams, borders, or any other images and elements you want. It does have a learning curve but it is worth it in the end because you can also use the software to stream to Twitch, so it's kind of a two-in-one. But if you want something a bit simpler, I would recommend using Bandicam. It does have the watermark on it, but it's a really simple tool you can use to get that gameplay done, even though there is a tiny watermark. All right, now let's talk about audio. The audio software of my choice is Audacity. Audacity is probably the best free, full-blown audio recording and editing software there is. It allows you to record your audio and then later on edit it, trim it, and add tons of effects to it, make it sound like a $200 mic. You can do things such as amplify your voice, get rid of all the background noise and static, get rid of the echo, and do so much more. And I would definitely recommend learning how to use it because it'll come in handy throughout your YouTube journey. Now say you want to use some background music in your videos. You can't use any song because it might get copyright claims, but you can use royalty free music. These are songs that are basically under special license, which allows you to use them as long as you give credit to the owner. Now, the best place to find these songs include YouTube.com where you can just search for royalty free music or go on Incompetech.com which has a ton of free songs you can use in your videos as long as you give credit. Alright, the final thing you need to do is take everything you've made and put it into a final product. To do this, I recommend using a free video editing software such as iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. They're both excellent tools that will allow you to put everything together into a final product. If you do want something more advanced, then check out WeVideo.com. WeVideo is an online feature-packed video editor that allows you to do even more things such as add a green screen. Now those are all the tips I have for now, hopefully you can make your own YouTube video now without spending a single dollar, but remember that if you do want to get into YouTube that you should start buying more equipment to produce even higher quality content, these are just tools to help get you started. So that's about it, if you guys like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and as always thanks for watching, my name is Ayogo, and I'm signing out.